we had to read best-selling novels in our genre and discuss them. And you were reading our manuscript and taking notes on it. So in that first month, when I had not even started working on my manuscript, I was shooting light years ahead on my mind work. Welcome to the Writing Gym Podcast. We're here to pump your writing into publishable shape with the latest tips from top publishers, agents, editors, and authors. Hey there, writers and muse daters. I am so excited to be speaking with you today uh, with Jeannie Covert, who, as you probably know, is in the writing gym. So, um, Let's just talk about first, Jeannie, what the heck that means. You know, where did you start in the writing gym? What did you do? Tell, tell the people who are listening, you know, what's this writing gym thing and, and what have you done there? Um, I start, I, I wrote, I, I'm a screenwriter and I novelized a script and um, I sent it after I finished, I sent it to editors and I was very, very confused because a lot of the information that they were giving me kind of conflicted with, uh, a lot of things that we do in film, and especially when it came to the suspense and the pace, I was used to a very, very fast pace. Um, there were just a, a lot of things that were different and the editor's comments were very confusing to me. Um, I was told about you and I came to you with a full manuscript. You read my first Five, 20 pages, I don't remember, but the first of it, and said, I know exactly what you're doing wrong, and I can tell you how to correct the situation. And it was the very best decision I'd have ever made. I, I went through, I cannot count the number of editors I went through. Uh, after working with you, I saw how, I saw what the editors were trying to tell me, but they didn't know how to tell me because they didn't understand screenwriting, but you did. And so therefore you were able to tell me, okay, this is what you do in screenwriting and this is how it translates over to a manuscript. I don't think the mindset gets represented enough because that was uh, that happened for me in my first month before I even started working on my novel uh, because that first month we had to read best-selling novels in our genre and discuss them and you were reading our manuscript and taking notes on it. So in that first month, when I had not even started working on my manuscript, I was shooting light years ahead on my mind work. And so you, you don't necessarily have to have a degree, but you have to have the knowledge. And this is one of the things I really discovered uh, with the writing gym. If I was going to um, spend the money getting my MFA or spend the money on the writing gym, there is no question. Uh, save that, that MFA money and put it into the writing gym because the MFA may or may not get you where you want to be, but the writing gym, the what work we do in the writing gym gets us to where we want to be. And uh, you go to bat for us harder, stronger, more than any other writing coach I have ever worked with. So thank you so very much. You're so welcome, Jeannie. Thanks for tuning in to the Writing Gym Podcast. Full-length episodes are released every Thursday. If you like what you've heard and are interested to see if you're the right fit for the Writing Gym, here's what to do next. Head to www.datewiththemuse.com forward slash publish now and book an appointment to speak with our team. I'm Rodney Wright, one of the gym rats over at the Writing Gym, and until next time, happy writing.